Good morning, Mike Sorg here, and I'm very excited. This, this, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, at Sorgatron on Twitter, uh, it's your Good Morning Podcast. Good morning on the YouTube, the iTunes, and the Stitcher now as well. So good morning with Michael Sorg there. Um, let's talk about the future. Uh, a lot of articles I, I'm coming across this morning uh, talking about the future and, and gotten my... Uh, my my mind running about it's 2015. We are in the future. I'm amazed. Uh, I talked about kind of recycling iPads like this guy over here, you know, the iPad One. I mean, how old is this thing? Five years old, something like that, right? And this idea, um, even even with this, you know, walking around my kitchen with one of these things has been pretty pretty fun because uh, I'm walking around even with something that's bulky. I know, really bulky, right? Uh, as this, having a computer in my hand ready to go and having the recipe on it, I feel like I'm Captain Picard, right? I feel like I'm, you know, on the Enterprise and they hand me the report and it's on this little tablety thing, which looks almost indistinguishable by what we're carrying around with our tablet devices these days, right? Um, and then there's, you've been watching, uh, just saw the finale last night of Parks and Recreation, which pushed everything ahead to a modest two years in the future. And started kind of playing with that idea a little bit. And even if you're not a super big fan of um, uh, Parks and Recreation, you probably won't get a lot of the in-jokes. But it's certainly, I think, worth checking out, if nothing else, for, uh, you know, see the technology. You know, a lot of see-through screens, a lot of plastic phones, or, you know, see-through phones and, and stuff like that. And it'll pop out hologrammy stuff. Um, you know, in this, this, uh, Verge article, they broke it down. Everyone has a holographic glass phone and tablets was one of their things. Um, technology companies are terrifying. <laughs> like they have a company here called Grizzle and you see in the picture here, one is drones, much like the Amazon prime drones dropping stuff off at your door. Um, and in the, in the background of this Google like office, this is, wouldn't it be tight if everyone was chill to each other? Uh, you know, kind of resonating the don't be evil kind of stuff that, that we get. Um, drone delivery exists, but it's probably not common um, as as you can see, the, you know, the, the reactions by, by the characters in the show. Um, drones are also being shot out of the skies. Ron Swanson, thank you. Uh, where, wearables are almost nowhere in sight. Actually, it looks like this guy's wearing a pebble watch with a hologram on it. So, VR and AR technology apparently still just a toy for the privileged. Uh, yeah, that's going to be for a while. Phablets, um, the per the personal data, and uh, now this is this is also a fun one. Uh, Ver Verizon, Exxon, and Chipotle have merged into the best company in a very better off Ted kind of kind of thing. Uh, it, they had this fake commercial where, where they all joined together just randomly in the middle of the show. Um, and uh, we're still interacting with gestures. There's still a lot of kind of motions to turn off TVs and, and, and everything, which is pretty cool. But uh, but then then we have something like uh, The Verge also posted here uh, this, this video about Microsoft obsessing over giant displays and super thin tablets in, in this future vision. And... This is one of those uh, kind of R and D, you know, look at we look at what we're heading towards kind of videos where there's just displays everywhere on the wall. Everything's there. I only saw one real instance of holographics. Um, no bezel on our on our uh, tablets, for instance. It's just a gla just a giant screen at that point. How things are integrated when you're out and about. Um, and it looks like we go through like a work day more or less. Now this is where it got interesting for me. So we got this part where she takes this thing off of her wrist. Well, first of all, I, I need to point out here. This let's see if I can get a better picture of this. But there's this wearable that this lady, this girl is wearing on on. Uh, it looks huge. It's super wide. There's no way that's comfortable. Again, it looks like just a giant glass piece with no bevel, no anything. Like even the band looks like it's interactive. Um, but she also takes it, puts it on a giant screen, and it turns into a giant interactive display. Again, something that you know I think you know very obsessed with this idea, Microsoft, about we're going to have this giant workspace, giant, giant, giant workspace like this. And I'm looking at something like this, and 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 you got to think, it, you know, the gestures for a large table like this. You see her grabbing things and kind of moving it. What's your reach? We talk about gorilla arm when it comes to a laptop with a touchscreen, but for something like this, like your reach is only going to be uh, like a quarter of the screen and in the middle. So all your gestures have to happen there. So I think there's a big logistical problem going on there. Um, 
they are big fans of this. I'll roll this footage back for a moment. They're big fans of this um, uh, wall Skype thing where it looks like granddad's in, a, in another room that you're looking into. Um, and a lot of this seems to resonate what we saw with HoloLens too. It looks like they're trying to get, take that HoloLens experience and make them just kind of uh, integrative screens that we can put everywhere. Um, and, you know, just kind of work to that, you know, a lot of gestures, which, you know, I think that's something that needs to kind of be worked out. Um, but I looked at going back to that giant desktop that we we're looking at, if you guys are on the video version, I definitely recommend it for this one. Um, there's recently a video that I was sharing around on the awesome cast accounts uh, for cast AR. And this has been, this is like the almost their technology, like HoloLens seems to be. You put on these goofy glasses, as you have to with any of this kind of stuff, and it kind of gives a holographic display for you to kind of play with here, right? Um, in this case, we're showing a girl playing a, a tabletop game, and there's a little kind of controller you can use. But here's what here's the cool part, and this is one that if you watch uh, Black Mirror, uh, first episode of the second season that looks like there's a very similar setup to this um, without the glasses of course where they're working on this desktop um, I want to go back to that one where, where you're really kind of replacing your computer screen with this now in the case of uh, cast AR it, it's a certain surface a sur certain material it needs to see to kind of project you know here you've seen a girl play it on her ceiling so the, you know her ceiling is the color that this needs to project, kind of like a green screen kind of situation. But it turns that surface into kind of the holograph projection, right? And, uh, but again, big, bulky, ugly thing, just like we were having a problem with, with uh, virtual reality. But again, almost there, like, and I think almost available as well. You can actually pre-order, I think an SDK version here at technical hyphen solutions. Hi, no, tech, I'm, on, I'm on a different, different site actually. Yeah, technical technicalillusions.com. Sorry, the letters are getting mixed up in my head. Um, you can find out a little bit more about that. This is actually something technology that came out of Valve. They let the, the head on the project take the technology with her. She kickstarted it, I think, with her husband. And now they're at this point of development. And you can actually pre-order this for $400. Hey, cool, $400. You can uh, pick this up. It's a... Uh, and this is, this I'm interested in. Um, you know, you get this, it's got, yeah, on top you can get the controller, you can get uh, uh, a game that will play on this. And basically, you know, there's these little uh, RFID chips in these game pieces and they'll interact and everything on top of things. But uh, I don't think that's the solution. Just like I don't think HoloLens is the solution, but it's that first step that next step for us getting from where we are right now to the absolute insanity world of screens and holograms and everything that Microsoft wants us to get to through their videos here. And uh, I, this, this, this vision might not be too far off, quite honestly. Uh, this vision, uh, you know, if, look at how far we are now. Look at our phones and the stuff we can do on them now versus, you know, we were joking on the awesome cast this week about, oh, Windows Mobile, wasn't it so horrible? You know, back with our AT&T tilts and our Titans and our, our you know, those devices, the, the 5 and the 6.5 devices that were basically Microsoft Windows with a start menu and, and, a, and a, 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 a stylus and everything. You know, we've come this far in the 5, 10 years, you know, looking at phones and looking at how much I can do. I am more interested in playing games on my iPad and my phone than I am my console right now. Like the graphics have been good, been good. The gameplay has been fun, you know? Um, and I think we've really kind of pushed on to something, something new here, something different. I think you're going to see that continue to change. What do you think about the future? It's not, it's not back to the future. Uh, it's not hoverboards. It's although the, um, although I didn't notice when I was, uh, uh checking out over at, uh, pit law at the parking garage, the voice on the parking, uh, the, the, the pay parking pay machine was the same voice that you heard a lot in back to the future too. 
um, your your jacket is now dry. That that Simon speak and spell kind of voice from the '80s that you always heard everywhere. Uh, it's 2015. Not a lot of pink going on, but still. Uh, let me know what do you think about the future. Are we almost there? What what future vision are you hoping comes true? Whether it be from television or a concept video like Microsoft puts out a technology going on now that you think is a step in the right direction, if not the uh, hopeful solution for some of this uh, technology uh, awesomeness. So uh, with that, let me know. Hey, at Sorgatron on Twitter, comments on the YouTube channel, or anywhere else you may find this video or audio, uh, wherever available, I'll get to it. I'll find it. And uh, I'd like to have a conversation with what you think about the future. Sorgatron.com is the site. We'll see you guys next time and have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.